welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm Representative Tina Lambert from District 23. That's Hawaii County and parts of Ada and Canyon counties. You have before you Senate Bill 1262. It regards harassment via telecommunications. Uh, this bill just gives an update in code to reflect modern types of communication that can be used for harassment. The uh, original bill says telephone only, but obviously there are a lot of other ways now. Um, it was last updated in the 90s. So as I said, the types of telecommunications have changed. Nothing else in the code is changed in this bill. And some of our courts are already interpreting this section of code to reflect modern telecommunications. So this bill adds clarity for all by updating the code. We wanna make sure that what is happening in the courts equates to what is in the law. Several states are also updating similar sections of this code to reflect the same. And the prosecutors also found this amendment to be in compliance. So I would ask that you send this bill to the floor with a due pass recommendation. Very efficient delivery. Representative Ehart. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, um, Representative. So, so we're expanding it to, I guess I don't, shame on me. I, I did not read the legislation thoroughly, but we're expanding it to include text message. Uh, I thought we already had that. As I understand, uh, you. I, th I thought you couldn't text unless there was approval and that there are some severe penalties for that. Am I, am I wrong? Uh, is, anyway. Representative Lambert, do you want to tell her if she's wrong? Uh, Mr. Chair and Representative E. Hart, in, currently in the in the legislation or in the bill, it uh, just says telephone, and then the changes add contacts via telecommunication, email, text message, or any other form of electronic communication. That's on lines 15 and 16 of page one. Did you have a follow up? Sure, follow up, please. So, uh, good chairman, uh, representative. So our goal here is to stop annoying messages. Yeah, I, I, um, is, is that what our goal is? Representative Lambert. Chairman and representative, yes. Uh, follow up. Go ahead. And so Mr. Chairman and representative, if a person, I guess I'm just trying to understand, including in looking at this, if a person say receives text messages and they opt out or they push stop is that when this kicks in representative lambert uh mr chair and representative that i do not know can i call the senator up to answer that one uh, that's fine if she's willing <laughs> <laughs> senator nichols please introduce uh, yourself for the record thank you mr chairman and committee i am senator tammy nichols from district 10 and I would be glad to answer your question, uh, Representative Ehart, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so the way that that works, so if you're, say you have a telephone and like you're just getting text messages that people can still opt out of this. This is if the intent is to harass and threaten and to um, do negative things to people. So what you're talking about falls under a different section of code. And so this is for the, um, I guess, extreme circumstances where people are trying to issue like death threats or things along those lines where it's being done through different forms of telecommunication. Okay, that, and, and I see threats of physical, Mr. Chairman, yes. uh, good representative. I do see threats of physical harm uh, in the title. Uh, if, that's, if that's the direction and what this is aimed at, then I suppose that makes sense. We just, I, I just had to clarify because of actual businesses in Idle Falls that can't do this. So I was confused. So thank you. I think that helps. Okay, if Chairman will take privilege, if you're old enough, you remember the days when annoying and harassing phone calls happened. Somebody would call your house and then hang up and usually some kids. And I may have done that a time or two as a kid. So that was the old law. Now we're just updating it to bring in other forms of electronic communication. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I'm not sure some of these people in here are old enough to understand what you're talking about. Maybe it's just you and me. Uh, uh, Representative Ehart, I was looking at Representative Handy. Representative Alfieri. <laughs> I didn't do it, honestly. <laughs> Representative Alfieri. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Representative Lambert. 
Um, I have a question for you. Has the uh, attorney general looked at this? Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Representative Alfieri, I do not know the answer to that. Lifeline. <laughs> do you have a follow-up? I do have a follow-up. Go ahead. Bye. I think represent, uh, Senator Nichols wanted to answer that. All right, go ahead, Senator. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Chairman, again, Senator Tammy Nichols, District 10, and Representative Alfieri. So we did not have the Attorney General necessarily look at this piece of legislation since it's just simply an update, but we did have the prosecutors look at it, and they felt that it was in compliance for current, modern times, current law, and where we already have um, courts that are already utilizing modern uh this section of law into modern time periods, then it's already being done again, like, like uh, Representative Lambert was stating, that we're just making sure everything meshes together so that what they're doing in the courts aligns with the law and vice versa. The follow-up, sir. Go ahead. Mr. Chairman, uh, so Senator Nichols, my, my concern with this is the wording of uh, making a threat. So if I might give you an example, <clears throat> I have an email from a constituent of mine on uh, the resolution that I sponsored um, and she threatened to work against me in my campaign for re-election. So can I prosecute that person? Senator Nichols. Mr. Chairman and Representative mm -hmm. Alfieri. It's built, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that question. You know, under under law, you can bring any type of a, a court situation or anything. Um, it's going to be up to the courts to determine. And if people want to go to that length um, over something along those lines, the intent with this is more along the lines of actual intimidation, threatening, like where you're really wanting to pursue harm in some way, shape, or form against somebody. But in our court systems, you can bring a lawsuit for anything at any time, but it's going to be up to the courts to, to go through that process. It's going to be amongst the individuals if they want to pay the expenses to pursue that. Um, but under our laws, you can bring a, 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 any type of court action at any time against anyone on anything, really. Um, Representative Alfieri, I'm going to take a privilege. This is a criminal code, and so it's not up to the person to bring the action, criminal action. It's up to the prosecutor, but you, you can complain to the prosecutor or to the police, and they decide if it's criminal enough to go forward or not. Okay, if I might just comment on that. Go ahead. Well, I, I'm seeing real First Amendment issues here. I'm very concerned about that. Um, I, I have the right to be rude to somebody without being prosecuted for that. I'm not suggesting that I would be or that anybody should be, but that is a First Amendment right. And I am seeing that this would have a chilling effect on emails and text messages from people who don't like what I'm doing. And and then they have a perfect right to, to not like what I'm doing and to let me know in no uncertain terms. So I, I do not like this legislation. Mr. Chairman, if I could respond. No question. Okay. You're welcome to respond. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and Representative Alfieri, uh, we completely understand the First Amendment issue. Again, like the, the chairman was saying, this is a criminal code, and there has to be, there has criminal to be, code. Um, <laughs> there has to be the ability to be able to show that there is actual continual issues going on with people making threats, and the prosecutors are, are the ones go that are going to be pursuing um, that if they if they find merit within that that those issues. Um, again, so we already this is already the mostly all of this is too, already in our code. Again, we're yep, just we're not will. changing anything that has to do with the actual code itself, just the form of communication. So everything else is already in there and has been. And um, and when I was talking to the prosecutors, they said that, you know, if someone just brings a f I guess you'd call it a frivolous thing where they're just saying so and so just, you know, they said something to me and I didn't like it or they they sent me a text message. I if it's if it's a one time thing, they're not going to they said that you usually pursue that there has to there has to be a substantial form of evidence. Uh, to show that there is continual harassment for I'll give you an instance that we have a senator. Uh, over on our side of the aisle 
that he had somebody coming to his house around two o'clock in the morning and sending him text messages at two o'clock in the morning that were very threatening in nature. And so things along those lines, those are the things that they're going to be pursuing if need be. Now they were able to handle that without having to go any further than just talking to the individual. But those are the sorts of actions that we're trying to initiate um, stopping and uh, not, not removing people's First Amendment rights, but actually real threats that are going on continually. And it has to be, my understanding is it has to be more than just one or two times. It has to be an ongoing type thing, so. Representative Young. Thanks, Mr. Chairman, for a motion. A motion is always in order. Um, I'd like to move that we send Senate Bill 1262 to the floor with a due pass recommendation and just to speak to that briefly. Go ahead. Um, this is not new statute. We're not plowing new ground at all. All we're doing here is bringing it up to date, and I think that's appropriate. Okay, any further discussion on the motion? We have no one here to testify. Representative Ehart. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, gosh, I, there's a number of things that are going, that are happening, whether it's with AI or things like this. And, and um, I would like some fixes. And I'm not, sh I, I'm hesitant because of a few things such as harass. I actually, I, I want to get hung up on something. Maybe it's the right thing to send, but I'll give you a quick example. And I actually know the good senators experience this too, but I don't think this covers it, for example. And that is, I, uh, there's, there's someone out there that has a Facebook post of me. This has been going on for a while. And if you actually go to the page, they can get away with it because it says parody. So, but when you're in the middle of a conversation, People think it's me. It's my picture. It says Representative Barber. They can't, you know, see all of it. They think it's me. And here I am commenting awful things at times. And it's not me. And, you know, I would like to see that issue taken care of because that's absolutely, I don't care if it says parody on the original page or not. No one knows that. And, and that can do great harm to me. Um, so I guess... Uh, I'm curious what the rest of the committee, I don't want to hold things up, but I'm, I was just looking to try to go through here and see, and I'm just missing it, if there's a definition of, of harass or intimidate. It, because I'm, like the good gentleman over here said, if, if you do have it, if you'll help me out, I'd like to know that uh, just because I am... I like the idea, I'm not sure if I like this. So anyway, I'll leave it at that and listen to my colleagues. Right. And again, Representative, uh, Chairman's privilege, we're only discussing the underlying portions. That's present law. So understand the concern. Representative Roten. Uh, Mr. Chair, I, I guess, frankly, to, to your point, um, that's not what we're talking about here. This could have been, instead of telephone, could have been fax machine. And now we're changing it to different mediums. And sh as I understand, the good senator has not touched any of the other definitions, it's just expanded um, the way that we communicate these days. It just It's just changing telephone to the different mediums. And that's what, as I understand, that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about changing any of the, the definitions of, of any of the activities, of any of the punishment, simply the mediums in which we're communicating. And that's what I would like to vote on. Representative Scott. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yeah, just to respond, I, I kind of agree. We're, we're taking it. I think this would actually help you more because it's talking to the form of elect, electronic communications. And that's really what they're doing is electronic communications. So I, I think this expanded definition, I mean, we're removing the word calls and telephone and we're turning it into telecommunications, email, text, electronic communication. So I think we're just expanding the definition on how people do the harassment, but ultimately the, the prosecutor's gonna make that decision. So I, I think this actually is better for your situation. <clears throat> Representative Alfieri. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I realize I'm, I'm opening myself up to uh, 
all kinds of bad email and texts and, and phone calls by, <laughs> by saying this. Uh, um, this, this extends a bad bill. I, I guess originally um, 186710, um, I have issues with that. And Joan, I realize what we're doing is we're extending some of the protections here to modern telecommunications devices like cell phones, et cetera. Um, I have means to defend myself from those. I can, I can block the caller. I can block emails and texts and things of that nature. I can take care of myself. Um, I think the original legislation is poorly written and I am not in favor of extending poorly written legislation. So I'm, I'm going to have to be opposed to this. Mm -hmm. Chairman will take a privilege. You know, one of my favorite presidents for some reason was Andrew Jackson. And he, when he was a young boy, they, his mother told him, if someone insults your character, you handle those things by yourself. Well, he promptly did that and shot at least a dozen men in duels. That, that is not law and order society, and I don't want uh, people taking things into their own hands, which is what you do if you don't have a law like this. So I am supportive of the motion. Any further discussion? All right. Senate Bill S-1262 is probably before the committee with a due pass recommendation to the floor. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Anyone? <laughs> Uh, motion carries. Does anyone want to be recorded as saying no? Representative Alfieri? All right. Thank you, committee. Appreciate the humor. 